Hey everyone, it's on off like a light switch. This video is longer overdue. It's been a while since I made a video and I really wanted to make an update video, but it's just been really, really, really busy. Like I can't tell you how busy it's been since I started medical school. Uh, I wanted to make a video actually after maybe the first day or even the first week of medical school, but it's just been so much studying, just trying to get adjusted to the schedule, trying to get used to it. I want to make more videos, probably more medical, school related videos but yeah this is basically this week four is about to start tomorrow i'm recording it right now today is sunday so whenever i upload this video my fourth week of medical school is going to start but i moved out of my house a month ago it's been a month more than a month now so it's been crazy i mean i've been waking up at five six o'clock every day mostly i've never been a morning person never like maybe in elementary school but that doesn't count yeah every every day i've been waking up a lot earlier than usual and trying to, I'm trying to sleep a little earlier so you can ask me about my sleeping schedule another time <laughs> but yeah I just wanted to give an update saying that okay if I don't make a video this is this is probably the best reason why I'm not making a video just a lot of a lot of classes is basically this past week was about biochemistry so they take a whole year of biochemistry and they condense it into one week that's the same thing for any other classes too. I mean, I've never been as busy as I am now in my life, I think. And it's good, I, I like the being productive, I like studying for the, the material, that the classes that I'm taking. And it's been fun so far, I liked my class, my classmates are, are great. The environment, it's, it's overall like a great place to study and meet new people and kind of work with them. Because a lot of the classes involve team-based activities. If I don't know something, somebody will explain it to me. And then if someone doesn't know something, then I'll try to explain it to them if I can. Vice versa. Before making this video, I, I had a video assignment, uh, an oral presentation on a case, a patient case. It, basically, this patient had, came into the clinic with knee pain. I had to take his HPI, history of present illness, you kind of have this mnemonic called the old carts, you know, the onset, location, duration, character, aggravating, what makes it worse, relieving, and timing, and severity of pain, whatever the problem is, and then associated symptoms. So I made that video before I recorded this, so that's why I'm dressed up as, uh, well, that's not dressed up, I'm, that's why I'm in this attire, like professional attire, the white coat, stethoscope, and scrubs because I was recording a video for that. So I'm probably gonna put that video at the end of this video if you wanna see that. But yeah, I was just kind of reading off the notes of my, my uh, write-up, my case write-up, all that stuff, like the chief complaint, like why did you come to the clinic? What's the problem? Why are you here to see a doctor? And so I get your information as you are the patient or whoever the patient is, your past medical history, and all that other uh, great stuff. So that's for the clinical skills class. I, I don't know how well I did but you guys can judge and see. I'm trying to get better at it, trying to try to hit all the points that you kind of need to when evaluating a patient, trying to get their history and whatnot. But yeah, it's been fun. It's been great. It's been, <laughs> it's been overwhelming, but you just gotta push through and do what you gotta do. Study and try to understand the material. Um, I'm not trying to memorize too much. Um, well, what am I saying? Yes, you gotta memorize. I'm trying to memorize everything, but I'm trying to understand it as well. Cause we have, this semester is probably the most loaded semester until December because we have not only just one class of just biology, molecules of medicine is our first uh, module that we're going through. And then on top of that, we have anatomy lab. So anatomy lab is usually Mondays and Thursdays, one o'clock to five o'clock, but then regular lectures like eight to 12. So usually every day is eight to 12 lecture, but then on Monday, Thursday, you add another several hours of one to five o'clock so my days can be like eight o'clock to five o'clock but I feel very productive and I feel like I'm learning a lot and my habits and my just everything about since moving here it just changed like really fast I was thinking about maybe making a video of a typical day of medical school gosh I don't know and like time to just do other things on the side you know try to enjoy yourself try to give yourself a break like me I could use a break after studying uh, yeah, like yesterday I studied more than 10 hours just for anatomy because we have a test coming up in a couple of weeks. I also felt like I learned how to manage my time 
better and I'm still learning but I definitely improved on that skill since moving here and it, it's been great I'm really happy about that but I mean there's always room for improvements anyways I feel like that's all I can say right now I just wanted to I think the main point was if I don't make a video know that this is the reason why so if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments below I'll try my best to get to them I'll make a video or reply to them yeah whether it's about medical school college pre-med just any questions you have for me I'll be happy to answer them so that's the end of this update video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Patient is a 22 year old male that comes to the clinic with no past medical history and has the chief complaint of his knee hurting, specifically his right knee and that started three days ago. He says that he was playing basketball and he twisted his body, he had his right leg implanted firmly on the ground and felt a pop after in his knee after the twisting of the body. Uh, he describes the pain as aching and dull and rates it 5 to 6 out of 10. The, the pain has been constant uh, and during the day, since, since the day of the injury. Walking, bending, and general use of the knee aggravates the pain, makes it worse, and resting, icing the knee, and elevating the knee, propping it up seems to uh, alleviate the pain a little bit but he did say that Advil does not seem to work in alleviating the pain and the knee becomes sore after walking throughout the day so later in the day in the evening after walking um, it, it be, the knee becomes sore and he also mentions another associated symptom of uh, the knee swelling gradually since the start of the injury and is constant now. As I mentioned before, he has no past medical history. He has a past surgical history of having an appendectomy at the age of 10. He takes, he took two pills, of Advil 200, 200 milligrams of Advil, two pills uh, the day he had the injury. And he does have an allergic reaction to penicillin. It seems to cause a rash. He has a, his family history includes his mother being normal, healthy, father has high blood pressure, and his sister has asthma. Social history includes that he's a student, he has no tobacco, alcohol, or any drug use, he's not, current, he's not sexually active, and he has uh, seems not to have any religious beliefs. And all other uh, review of systems seem to come out negative and denies uh, any symptoms of all uh, any symptoms of all systems besides the chief complaint as I mentioned previously. Thank you.